explain to us um, what you're currently doing in your life right now. And then um, after that, I, I want you to give some advice to athletes who, who may be in your same shoes. You know, um, maybe, you know, smaller athlete but fast, great hands, can block, but not getting the ball enough to really show, you know, college scouts their true talent. Well, um, you know, I'm 31 years old. You know, I live in Fishers, Indiana. You know, I work at uh, ADT Security Services. You know, I'm, I'm pretty blessed, you know, to have a, a good paying job. You know, um, definitely no millionaire, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. But life has, you know, definitely been good to me. I've been super blessed. You know, I've been blessed with good friends, good family, um, and good experiences. If I had to give, you know, ex advice to someone who was in my shoes, you know, 13 years ago, you know, I'd say commit early. Um, not only commit early, but also look into going into camps. I mean, you can't just make a sport a one-time thing. Now, if you play two sports, you know, that makes it a little bit different, you know, but you've got to train. You've got to be in early. You've got to be in the gym. Um, you've got to be serious. Um, and don't wait for someone to promote you, you know, promote yourself. Um, there are certain, you know, guidelines that may, you know, restrain you from doing certain activities, you know, but your parents, you know, your parents have to be, you know, a critical part in it as well. I mean, educate yourself, you know, find out what you're getting into. If you don't know, if you don't have a family member, you know, now we're, you know, fortunate enough to have, you know, massive use of the internet for everyone out there get out there man uh, hear different people's experiences um you know nothing nothing replaces life experiences and when someone older you know has an experience that you can listen to doesn't mean you have to make it your own experience um you just kind of take bits and pieces from everything that you see going through life and you try to turn it into your thing you know make it make it your own you know but never give up i mean <clears throat> i'm still as competitive you know, if not more competitive now than I was then, it's just on another level. You know, it's more mental than it is physical. Um, but then maybe if I would have realized that it was more mental than it was physical back then, I'd be in a different spot. Who knows? You know, but don't leave any room for question, I guess. You know, I gave it my all. You know, I did everything that I could. I'm proud of my accomplishments. You know, I was fortunate enough to go to college. A lot of people... You know, I know, didn't go to college. A lot of people, you know, passed away before high school was even a realization. You know, so I definitely feel blessed, you know. <clears throat> God has been good to me. Um, and I'm living life, man. Life is good. Real quick, um, you made a good point about growing up in Chicago. What, what is one of the reasons why a lot of athletes um, from East Chicago don't complete the process of going to high school? going to college four years, getting a degree or going to the next level or whatever? Well, you know, I think that, you know, in, in whatever you do, your foundation is, is, is where you start, you know, and without a solid foundation, you know, your people lose direction, people lose focus. Um, you know, having all the right people around you is another key element, you know, to being successful. You know, having positive people around, having a positive aura, um, I think that growing up in East Chicago sometimes is hard, you know, for a lot of people. But, you know, at the same time and in the same breath, I also have to say that growing up in East Chicago, man, is a beautiful thing. You know, so many, you know, wonderful people, you know, great citizens, great human beings. I mean, you hear so much about all of the negative things and the negative people, you know, that come from East Chicago, the mayor, you know, all the political aspects of it. You know, but some of the best and, you know, wonderful people that I've been able to relate to, you know, and they they come from East Chicago. East Chicago makes good quality people, and I think that people from East Chicago don't take life for granted. You know, I think that we we we, we live it up to the fullest. You know, to the best of our abilities, because I think that when you come from an impoverished place, I think that you you realize that you know tomorrow's not promised to you. The next meal is not promised to you, and you know to be in a place you know in your life where that you can consider yourself to feel comfortable. You know, I. It, it's night and day for me, you know, I can't speak for anyone else, you know, I've been, I've been blessed, I've been down, I've been out, I've been on top, back again, you know, all at an at a early age. Um, growing up in East Chicago, you, you get life experiences, maybe some before you should, but nonetheless, I think that it, it kind of, I ain't going to say hardens you up all the way, but it, it, it makes your skin a little coarse. 
it, it gives you the ability to understand things and understand, you know, what people are going to try to do to you, you know, when you go throughout life, you know. Yeah, I, I, I hate to say it, but if you give someone the opportunity, they'll take advantage of you. And you have to, you know, grow beyond that, you know, see past that and, and, and flock towards the people that are about the right things, that are trying to go in the right places. And that never changes. You know, I hang out with managers. I want to hang out with executives. I hang out with executives. I want to hang out with presidents. I want to hang out with owners. You know, and for me, you know, the hunger never stops. And that kind of, you know, goes in tune with my competitive nature, you know, which I referenced earlier. Also, I want to thank you, man, uh, for the opportunity. And I, um, I wish you the best in the future. And hopefully, you know, in the future we can do this again. Oh, uh, anytime, man. Thank you for having me. Athlete. Athletelive.com, for sure. Athletes Lives Network, exclusive interviews. Once an athlete, always an athlete.